This is a pretty weird story about something that happened a couple of months ago with me and my friend, which may have put us in danger. So I was walking down to the train station after school with my friend Aisha, as usual, and nothing was too bad except for the fact that it was like 32 degrees Celsius in Australia. The perfect weather for some random drunk strangers to walk around. But luckily there was a giant herd of girls from my school walking the same way as us. We were nearly about to reach the station after one more signal and while waiting for the green man to start blinking, I see this guy stand among the crowd of other girls. He looked quite worn out but also dressed in business casual clothing. I did some analysis and wrote down all the deeds of the man in my brain. Mid 50s man, dirty white and wrinkled shirt, dark brown pants worn a little too high, hands in his bulging pockets filled with something besides his hands, a little bit barren at the top, and a creepy smile. Hmm, interesting. The green guy goes off and we head over to the station. I look at the crowd and he's still there. And I could have sworn I saw his lips moving a little bit like he was possibly talking to himself. I kind of ignored it as we reached the station. Maybe he really was just tired since it was nearly 4 p.m. We kept a close eye on our backs just in case, but we didn't spot the guy anywhere, so I assumed he went another direction. There were about 9 minutes until our train arrived, so Aisha and I decided to get ourselves some snacks from the store in front of the stairs leading up to the platform. And guess who we see going up to the stairs to the platform? The exact same guy I saw at the signal. Oh, no way! Bro, it's the same dude. What dude? The dude from the signal. Oh. Can we just possibly, maybe, stay here for a few minutes if that's okay with you? Oh yeah, sure. Jin and Sugar still have their parts to sing. Sing! No, I can never let for it! Don't let that! So we hung by the store and then we went up to the platform's bed elevator. And you bet your little head we made sure to double check. There were only 5 minutes until the train came. So we just ate our food and chilled for a while. And everybody knows what crazy stuff can happen in 5 minutes. There were other girls from our school in different parts of the platform. And in one of the groups, I hear this. Hey guess what I, I used to get to school as well I. And I used to wear pants this Saturday. I went all the way to you, right? But instead of wearing a skirt, I wore pants, eh? I turn around and nearly fall over because look who was standing there talking to the girls. The tooth fairy? No, it was the guy. I watched him talk and he moves his hand forward and puts it on the girl's back. No, 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 no. Don't, don't go away yet. The girl just walked away cringing with her friends to the other side of the station. He moved on to another group and said the exact same thing. Still openly swearing, by the way. It sorta looked like he was targeting the girls from our school, which might have been true because he was hanging around them a lot, randomly talking to them, and making so-called hand movements. Aisha and I just stood still, hoping the guy would ignore us, and we put our bags in our stomachs so he wouldn't see our uniform as well. Don't you think we should move too? Nah, we'll be fine here. This wall is easy to camouflage with because we're brown. Ugh, alright. Just stay still and act like you're a part of the wall. But we're so close to him. Shut up and stay still. The ancient military reptiles use this technique to escape danger. You mean chameleons? Yeah, those. About a minute passes and we thought we were professional ninjas. And including a K-pop freak. Huh, I guess this technique is working after all. Why did I speak too soon? We looked over to the side and there he was. Nani? The dude from before, towering over us innocent 8th graders. And he started talking. Hey, guess what I? I used to get skewed as well, I And I used to wear pants this Saturday. I went all the way to you, right? But instead of wearing skirt, I wore pants, I. We could do nothing but listen. We were backed up against a wall, literally. After repeating his statements over and over again, he gave us a dead look in the eye and just stood there waiting for the train. Now, teachers at school warn us about strange people and I've been listening to this since I was in kindergarten. The mental training I had received from those regular lectures immediately told me that there was something wrong with this guy. And judging by the smell of the atmosphere once the guy came, made me think he was high. Throw in some of that meth, 
tequila, weed. Also, this man's presence made my brain go bonkers. Leave now. Will do. Hey, Aisha, want to move to the other side of the platform? Bruh. I wanted to do that ages ago. We moved to the other side and finally waited just one more minute until that sweet metal multi-carriaged human transportation box arrived. We boarded and then sat down. I didn't know if the guy came or not, but at that point, I was 1000% done. Oh, that was pretty close, but now I can finally go home. Yeah, my cool army technique was really helpful, huh? At least it'll make a good YouTube video. Wait, so you're already gonna make a video about this? Yep, 